very good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the uh, 2015 Barlow Lecture. Uh, it's been rather like watching one of those wonderful scenes in an opera where the crowd gradually gathers and the excitement builds and builds and builds. And uh, I think we've pretty well filled the place, so that has a lot to do with our lecturer yet to come. But before we start on the lecture, um, uh, we have some prizes to award. And first of all, I want to thank our judges who work their way around the research posters, and you've seen the excellent display this afternoon, and select uh, a prize winner for the best student poster at the Barlow Memorial Lecture. Now, I want to check my script because they usually provide me with a little bit of commentary. And here it is. So first of all, um, I'd like to congratulate our runners-up for the prize. Uh, they are uh, Clemens Tumultzhammer of the Electronic Materials and Devices Group, whose supervisor is Johannes Papa Constantinou, who's over there on my right. And his poster was entitled, Losses in Luminescent Solar Concentrators Unveiled. So uh, congratulations, Clemens. Our second runner-up was Alaric Taylor of the Electronic Materials and Devices Group and also a great contributor to the Centre for Doctoral Training in Integrated Photonic and Electronic Systems. Um, his supervisor also, Ioannis Papa Constantinou, and I can assure you, <laughs> I can assure you, that this is an entirely objectively defined result, was what I was going to say. Um, and his poster was on self-assembled, bio-inspired windows. Congratulations, Alaric. <laughs> but there has to be uh, only one prize awarded, and that is to uh, Arthur Ono, uh, of Photonics Group, uh, which I lead, but again had no <laughs> influence on the judging, uh, whose supervisor is Huyun Liu, um, and his poster is The Impact of Threading Dislocation Density in Gallium Arsenide Phosphide Layers on the Performance of Gallium Arsenide Phosphide sil on Silicon uh, Tandem Solar Cells. So, Arthur, you are the winner, and I have a certificate for you, and I think there's a check somewhere that you may receive. We now move on uh, to the uh, Lombardi Prize. I've actually got the prizes in a slightly different order, but we'll do it this way. Move on to the Lombardi Prize, uh, which is presented uh, for the best PhD thesis uh, submitted. Different judging panel. And uh, I should just explain a little bit about the background, because it actually does link uh, with this evening's speaker. Uh, Fabrizio Lombardi was a colleague of mine as a research student uh, way back in the 1970s, went on to a very distinguished uh, academic career, and is uh, now a senior professor at Northeastern University. Um, and uh, he wanted to do something to mark the importance of research at UCL, and uh, he endowed this prize a few years ago, and uh, so we give it uh, this evening. He sends his apologies. He's not able to be with us uh, this year to present it personally. Again, we have two students who've received honorary mentions this year for their work. Uh, the first is uh, Vasiliki Glagka, who was supervised by Professor Andreas Demosthenou, and her work 
was on flexible active electrode arrays for epidural spinal cord stimulation. It's worth mentioning that Vasiliki has recently accepted an offer uh, from Technical University Delft, and she'll take a position as assistant professor in bioelectronics there very soon. Uh, very impressive achievement, great work. Congratulations, Vasiliki. Don't know whether you're here, so let's see you. Oh, there you are. Please stand up. Congratulations. And the second uh, um, honorary mention uh, goes to Alan al Armagani for his work on the development of a hybrid microwave optical system to monitor human thermoregulation. This has culminated in a prototype that has been tested in vivo by researchers in the National Hospital, Hospital for Neurology and Neuroscience. So, Alan, are you here? Oh, he's on his way. Well, we'll congratulate him in his absence. Uh, the winner this year is uh, Ma uh, Dr. Mohammed Ashraful Anam, who's supervised by Yanis Andriopoulos, and his work has been in the trade-off between computational uh, precision uh, for resource scaling. He's got tremendous breadth, breadth to his work, the judges comment. Excellent publications. Uh, first author on significant papers in uh, IEEE transactions and has received uh, a patent as first inventor in the area of detection of faults in data computations. Additionally, he has industrial experience having spent time with ARM in Cambridge. So, Mohammed, many congratulations. I have a certificate for you. Please come to receive it. Congratulations. Again, uh, there is money too, but I don't hand that over. Congratulations. Okay, we now come on to the, um, uh, the Cisco, uh, Cisco Prize 2015. We're fortunate to have uh, John Manville with us here this evening. I hope, John, you've been briefed because uh, your task is to present the Cisco Prize. John, where are you? Oh, there you are. Thank you, John. Microphone to you. Okay, thank you. So the prize is, uh, is generally awarded in the space of the Internet of Things, the Internet of Everything. And this year, um, the judges judged Yure Sokolik <laughs> as being the winner. <laughs> so I'd like to present the... the, the uh, the certificate. How about that? Thank you. And maybe, more importantly, a prize. I hope you find this useful. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much, Alan.